Causeway is a 2022 movie starring Jennifer Lawrence, kind of without the glamour, confidence, or command that we're used to seeing her in movies like The Hunger Games, Silver Linings Playbook, Passengers, Joy, American Hustle, uh, or Don't Look Up. She plays a engineer in the US Army who's serving overseas in Afghanistan who suffers a traumatic brain injury and is sent back home to New Orleans to recover all with the intent of getting back to deployment of being overseas so she can be with her service people. Before that, she has to get signed off by a doctor who deems her physically fit to go back as well as mentally fit to go back. Uh, so she has to clear some hurdles along the way. Because she suffered this traumatic brain injury, she cannot use her, her brain. She cannot do a lot of the decision-making that she was able to do earlier. Um, so she's not able to hold super difficult jobs in terms of cognitive ability. So she takes a job as a washing or a cleaning pools and kind of a wealthier neighborhood in New Orleans. And she strikes up a friendship with a mechanic named James, who's played by Brian Tyree Henry, who you might know from If Beale Street Could Talk, Godzilla vs. Kong, or Widows. And he is also suffering from some trauma from an incident that happened earlier in his life. The two kind of strike up a friendship and kind of go from there. Uh, a lot of the, the story is based on, on the two of them and just their friendship. Um, I think part of the problem with Causeway, which was directed by first time director, Nia, Leah Norberboro, was there's not a lot of emotion in this movie. I never felt anything. And I never really felt like for as good of an actress as we have in Jennifer Lawrence, uh, I never really felt like this was a character. I felt like it was just her playing uh, Lindsay and it was Henry playing James. And, and I just always felt like it was just those actors instead of characters. If you're looking for a movie that is based on an individual coming back from duty and struggling with, with life back in civilization. I think two great movies are Brothers and American Sniper. Uh, both of those movies, definitely American Sniper is an A-plus movie for me. Brothers is, is an A or an A-minus. Uh, that one's starring Tobey Maguire and uh, Jake Gyllenhaal. I appreciate this movie for the quietness. It didn't really go down the path that you would expect it to go. But at the same time, it didn't really go down a whole lot of paths. It was very dry. It was very just unemotional. Uh, it reminded me of the performance that Jennifer Lawrence broke out at back in 2010 or whenever it was with Winner's Bone, which she earned her, earned her first Academy Award nomination for, where she is struggling to make ends meet. She doesn't look you know beautiful like she does in most of her movies. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing a movie with her kind of toned down, that's a fantastic movie, kind of just like, you know, just person on the street, a person, you or me, kind of going through life, that, that's a really good movie to see. And as a whole, I gave this movie like a 73%, 73.5%, so it was definitely lacking. Um, probably don't recommend it.